Good morning. In this video I will show you how to program this graph or diagram on your TFT display. These graphs are useful when you need to show different data or sensor readings. To make it simple I decided to show only seven values. Right now values are generated randomly. In this tutorial we will learn how to program this nice design. We will not learn how to get sensors readings. That part is on you. My subscriber uh, asked me very often what software are you using to make these nice user interfaces and the short answer is none. I use pen and piece of paper to plan alignment. This concept can be used on any display. You can use it with an OLED display also. You will only need to keep in mind that different screens and different development boards have a different resolution. Okay, let's get started. So here, here I have empty Arduino sketch. I already included TFT SPI library. We will need this constructor for TFT display and we will need one sprite. But first let's get the colors. You can see that for this project I need three colors. It is always good idea to use only few colors. So we will use white, this dark gray and you can choose this main color whatever you want. I decided to use this So I will need color 1, color 2, color th 3. Four colors. I will use this free RGB 565 color picker. You can find this link in description. So color 1 will be... I will choose something very close to white and I need to copy this value not this one this and this is my color one color two is my main color so I will choose let's try to choose something different maybe red version dark red this will be color 2 and color 3 will be some dark Now when we have our colors, let's go planning our alignment. As I all already mentioned, I will use simple piece of paper and pen. Resolution of my board is 320 by 170. So I already played with these values and this what I got. Uh, first I will fill whole screen with dark gray color which is color 3. Then I will draw one, fill one rectangle which is... Which looks like... Thank you. Would you like this? So, coordinate of this 
is 1040. So we have 40 pixels here and 10 here. If I have 10 here and 10 here and this is 320 that means that, that this line is 300. And if I have 40 here and 10 here, this line size height of this rectangle will be 100. Which is here is 20. 20. I know that this is very <laughs> messy drawing, but uh, I just wanted to show you how you can help yourself. I hope you can <laughs> understand me. So, if this is 2020, that means that this line 20 and 20 is. 280 and this line we will put it 110 okay we have our plans we have our colors let's write rest of code in setup we need to have tft init function We need to rotate it in landscape. And we need one sprite. I already have a constructor for sprite. Name of sprite is sprite. Sprite creates sprite. And my sprite will be large will be same dimension as screen so 320 by 170 in a loop I will make external function called draw graph And in loop part of code, I will call it if each each cycle. Each cycle, I will um, I will fill my sprite. with color 3 and my last function in draw graph will always be sprite push sprite 0 0 let's try to upload this I need to choose ESP32 S3 development module and my port is right now 23 and you can see results here empty screen filled with grey color Let's draw these rectangles. Sprite fill rectangle. So 
So my first is location 1040 size of is 300 by 120 so 10 1040 size is 300 by 120 and now I will choose color 1 which is white and now I need this big round rectangle which is 20, 20, 120 and 280 certain fill around rect on location 20, 20 and size is 280 by 110 round index I, I don't know let's try 5 and color is color 2 let's try to upload this here we can see results very nice and now we need and now we need those lines I will show only seven days so uh, size of this line will be something which is for example 210 because 210 divided by 7 is 30 so every 30 pixel I will draw value here and this part is 100 and 110 I think so I will this will be 80 I will not draw lines because they are hard to see I will also draw white rectangles let's say we will move 16 pixels from here and 50 pixels from top height of our first line will be 80 no it will be 2 and uh, width is 2 and height is 80 color 1 which is white not fill sprite fill rect let's try this this is not good we need to put it higher so let's try 30 upload now it's much better so we need another line feel rect rectangle so also 60 but now location is 30 plus 80 is 110 and uh, size is also 210 because 210 is easy to divide by with 7 and height is 2 also color 1
and now we have two nice lines let's add numbers here so size of this line is 80 I will not for example every every 20 pixels we will draw some text but first we will choose text alignment center center function for this text alignment is this one usually the def default text alignment is top top left corner and now we will align it center center because it is easier to work so uh, for I don't know I is equal to uh, while I is less less than 8 i plus plus no i is equal i plus 2 and we will sprite draw string string i multiply by 10 because we want to see 10, 40, 16. Location, uh, let's try 15, because line is at 16. Let's try 15, and... Here goes... 110 minus I multiply by 10 so we will start at the bottom bottom and each I we will go up at the bottom we our bottom line is move down 110 pixels I hope you understand me sorry okay mm. that's it let's let's see how this looks like And now we have our numbers but I don't can you don't know do you see but numbers have black background so sprite we need to choose foreground and background color set text color which will be color one will be foreground color and color color 2 is background color now we need days here so I will declare array of data week week have 7 days Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Sunday 
Und jetzt zu der Wind. Okay. So, now I have another for loop. I can use I again. Zero while I uh, less than seven. I plus plus sprite draw. Draw string which will be uh, weak I at a position let's try one hundred and sixty. No, sorry. One hundred and sixty from top and from left it will be um so we will draw each thirty pixels. So first will be at sixty plus thirty is ninety plus I multiply by 30 let's see what we have here okay we will put it a few pixels down 120 Now we will need some values. For example, I will need another array integer also seven elements and at the beginning they will be zero. I can use also this for loop because I need set value values for seven elements and random from 5 to 80 and now uh, let's draw rectangles so we will draw them on practically on the same this location will be middle of each rectangle so if we want a rectangle which is uh, I don't know 60 16 pixels wide we will need sprite we will need move move 8 pixels to the left and 8 pixels to the right so we will have 15, uh, 16 sorry for my bad English but you will see now sprite feel uh, rect location is eighty two plus so same like here I multiply by 30 uh, and the starting position is we need to start from top so one hundred and ten minus 
values e. So we need to start from top and end at, at the line with is 16 and height is value is i. Let's see what we got. Now we have our values, but they are changing too fast. We'll slow it down right now, and I can see that bottom line is not long enough. We need to increase it for 8 pixels, half of this 16. So to slow this program, I will I will add delay every three seconds and I will now I will now let me see so this line will now be two hundred and eighty. Let's try now. And now I have very nice graph. But I want these little dots here. So here I want lines, so inside this I will add another for loop. Int j is equal zero and while j is less than 280 and we'll draw dot every five pixels so j is equal j plus five sprite draw Pixel location is sixty plus J because we st a line started at sixty and from top we have same as this one color is color one let's try this yeah we have these lines these dots now it looks much better I hope you agree okay now we need add some values also down there sum of all values and average so int sum is zero and float average is also zero Before summing, <laughs> we need each cycle, we need start that sum is 0 and sum is equal sum plus values i inside this for loop with 7 cycles. And under, I can put that average is is equal sum divide by seven. Now 
we need to draw these values down there but first I will return sprite I will return my text alignment to default and I will set text color to uh, let's draw with color color 3 will be foreground and background will be white which is color 1 and sprite draw string sum is equal plus string sum location will be 20 and 136 and now I will use little larger larger font which is 2 and average will be I will copy this copy paste average what hundred and twenty draw spring oh my god draw spring when my students have these kind of errors I'm mad and when I have <laughs> function draw spring it's okay And string please uh, leave a comment in uh, down below the video if you if you watch it so far and now we have some an average and let's add some text here so for example earnings Again, I will need to change my color of text, which will be now uh, color 1, color 3, and sprite draw string 20, uh, I don't know, 4 size is also 2 and I forgot to draw a string yeah. earnings how much we earned that week for example and that's it this is our example I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Sorry, we are losing connection. And I hope this video will be useful. For example, you can add here also minimum, maximum or something. You can use this concept for your 
readings for temperature for I don't know it is not that hard but I think it looks great thank you for your time please leave comment if if you watch the whole video leave a comment uh, I don't know leave a I watch it whole video comment please thank you I hope you learned something again and uh, feel free to download my code but I always recommend it would be much better if you could try to write along the, uh, the video if you could write th this code and play with it change something you will learn much easier I learned it that way thank you if you are first time here please subscribe if you if this was very helpful to you you can buy me a coffee link is in the description have a nice day and I'm glad you watched this part of the video thank you goodbye